All right, guys, Adam Dory back helping out here at that track channel for uh, for this week. I'm going to make as many appearances as I possibly can, but day three, we're kind of hump day. It's Wednesday. We're here at Tri-State here in Iowa. Tons of cars that, you know, succumbed to the road. Cletus is out. A handful of kind of big names are out. And this is like an endurance type deal. Really, the street is the ultimate equalizer. Everything can make passes down the racetrack. We all know that. Getting that stuff on the road and getting it down the road, whole different deal when you get out there and you're miles and miles and miles away from all your support vehicles. But so much cool action coming to you here very soon. Dragon drives a whole different world. I hope you guys tune in. Look at all of the updates here on that track channel. All right, guys, let's jump into some of the action here. We got Cameron Alley pulling up to the lane here in that orange Mustang. And we got a G-Body, a little Malibu here, Betty White pulling up. in the right lane, left lane going 926, 151 mile an hour. How's it going? This is Dan Dynan here with the 79 Malibu Betty White. We're running the uh, Pro DYO class here at Six Summer. Um, <clears throat> cars are fresh build. Set up a 920 pass on Monday um, to set our DYO index. Ran a 925 yesterday and had a little part failure. It blew out one of the hut side pipes on the car and uh, went over and talked with Doug for motion. He was helpful enough and um, let us use his shop and fix it last night. I can't thank those guys enough, they're awesome. So we made it out here today, we ran a 926, so waiting around with them to call Slick Class again so we can try to close that gap. That's for sure. First time in the ninth for that Camaro. All right, guys, we got Rovic pulling up the line here out of uh, out of Northern Canada, out of the White Horse. I want to say he's been running nines as well. I don't know if I captured one of his runs yesterday, but we did get him the day before. So let's see if uh, let's see how he's doing right now. Hey everybody, it's Rovic here um, from White Horse Yukon, and uh, we're here at day three, six summer at uh, Tri-State, I think where I am. Uh, just made a pass down the track, uh, gonna come back around in the next group, uh, ran a 998, a little bit slower, I wanna tighten it up on the Pro DYO, looking for a 991, somewhere around there, so we'll see how it goes this afternoon. Guys, we got AB radio cars pulling up right now. They're just doing some track prep here, and uh, so some of these big heavy hitters are pulling up the line right now. Seventy-one mile an hour. All right, guys, we got the hustling hillbilly pulling up to the line here. I like the license plate. Hauls ass. <laughs> Pretty good, 1023, 128 mile an hour. Hey, I'm Darwin Peterson. This is day three, uh, six summer. Just finished my passes, so I'm loading up and headed up to uh, Union Grove next. My daughter's with me, she's having a blast, so maybe she'll be a future racer. My car's a 1955 Chevy. It's an old race car that 
raced in Ohio. I uh, got a 555. I run in a B gas. Uh, that's the limit for the uh, engine rules there, and, and uh, just having a really great time. Blaine's running an eighth mile, so we saw 9.12 on the board, but you're not seeing an eighth mile time on the board, so that's why you're seeing a low mile an hour, is because he's already shut off at the 6.60. But probably like a 5.30 pass or something like that. All right guys, got an old Ford wagon pulling up to the line here, right lane. No bass ass in the left lane. Man, that Ford wagon's moving. A 50, 260 mile an hour in the right lane there. Guys, we got the stick shift Mustang pulling up the line right now. Got out in the hole better than it did yesterday. Oh, I shut it down early. I don't know if you missed a gear or something like that happened there. Still coasting 1192. How's it going? Tom Llewellyn here with YOLO. Um, we're running a stick shift car. This is day three. We're at Tri-State. Uh, yesterday we hand, handed in a pass we weren't too happy with. We've been battling with the car every day so far. Still trying to get it right. Uh, last year at Cordova made my fastest pass ever. We're hoping to du duplicate that yesterday. It just didn't happen. So we handed in 11. So I fell down in the standings. Uh, we think we figured out the problem with the car. So we're excited to get back out there and make another hit. And uh, other than that, we're just trying to finish the week out and have fun. Like, this is awesome. This is an awesome event. This is her first time being at a drag style like this. That's been fun, you know? I mean, there's a lot of things to sort out, but there's a lot of awesome people around here that you meet that want to help out all the teams. So it's yeah. fun to meet everyone. All the teams work together and try to figure this out. We met these guys right here, and they've you been an awesome crew. Yeah. Now, so we're happy about that. Yeah, definitely. So it's been awesome. Yeah. Cool experience. Left lane 859, 159 miles. All right, guys, beautiful Cobra pulling up the line here. Sixty-four mile an hour. Pass in a row. He did. He's ran eight five zero. First pass he's come up to at every single track so far. Wow. Cord Cordova he ran an eight five zero three, and Byron he ran eight five zero four. First pass every time. All right, guys, we're just having Matt from thirteen twenty. He is informing us that this Camaro has gone eight fifty three days in a row now. So let's see if we can do it again. Two days in a row. Let's see if we can do it again.
58 mile an hour. Seventy four in the left lane, ten twenty six, hundred thirty one mile an hour in the right lane. Nine seventy two, hundred fifty two mile an hour. Thirteen mile an hour of that Camaro is on the brakes early. I'm assuming that might be a time class or something like that, or a dial your own or something. All right, guys, I don't know if I've actually filmed this truck yet or not. It blew the tires off on it. Big wheels up on that left lane. Unfortunately, not a good pass for either one of them. It sounds like they're both shut off. 1037 on the left lane. Right lane still close to the point. <laughs> Chevelle going ten twenty nine, hundred and thirty eight mile an hour. All right, guys, another Chevelle. Thirty-two mile an hour. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Thor on the line here. The Ford Futura. Lane 760, 670 mile an hour. Wow. Yeah. My name's Thomas Jones. I'm checking out Motorsports. This is Frank Webb. Frank Webb's actually the owner of the car. It's 1978 Fairmont. Uh, it's got a 598 Kazi, big block Ford, uh, four seductions, single 122 turbo, uh, m, m three speed transmission. 
Uh, this is actually his first time out with the car on this setup. Uh, before it had a different setup. Um, car runs off Haltech ECU. Um, struggled all week so far. Had electrical gremlins, had some fuel gremlins yesterday. Finally got them straightened out. Car stood up on the bumper, come down, broke some stuff. So we had the next day some parts to here. Uh, we got them all put on first thing this morning to go make the first run and uh, right down the racetrack, 766. All right, guys, the autocross Nova's in the left lane, Tram Dam in the right lane. Nova. I was talking to him the other day and I think he did a 950 as his personal best. goes 924 145 mile an hour just watching the replay here that nova the back glass flew out of the car in that run so track cleanup's going to be a little bit here so i mean for you guys watching at home it's not going to be long at all because we're just going to cut to the next clip all right guys the break between glass cleanup till now was probably about 25 minutes or so for you guys it was probably about 2.5 seconds but anyways we've got a bell air pulling up right now let's see how it does That Bel Air going 1136, 120 mile an hour. Alright, guys, this Camaro's pulling up to the line. It's got a couple sponsors on it. I don't know if you can see them or not. Haltech, Rife Sensors, and my wife. Six mile an hour. He must be in a dial your own or something like that. He was on the brakes at the top end of the track there. All right, guys, we got Pimp Bunny pulling up to the line in his Fox body. in the left lane. Let's see how these guys do here. Right lane 911, left lane 933. Hi, I'm Mike McMahon. I'm from Worth, Illinois. It's day three of six summer. Uh, we're here at uh, Tri-State Dragway. First uh, time at uh, doing six summer, having a blast in uh, class uh, 275. Supposed to be running 850s. We're a little slower at 911 today, but you know what, we're gonna take it. It's uh, doing good and just want to survive the weekend at this point. Yeah, so we got my car pimp money here at a 1990 Fox body with a LS swap, a uh, big single turbo. It's uh, doing really well so far and uh, hopefully it just stays together. in the left lane, the motion raceworks delivery truck seems like it's got some issues. Right lane S10, 1036, left lane 12, 2, 91 mile an hour. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool car. It's like a Fairmont station wagon, it looks like, with a shootout back and running crazy fast.
59 left lane, 852 or 862 in the right lane, 161 mile an hour. Seventy, 140 mile an hour. This is Rocco DeRigo here with my 2011 uh, Procharge Grand Sport with a 418 stroker in uh, six summer 2024. We're uh, trying to get a little bit closer to our dial, uh, a little bit off, trying to get the car into the ninth today. Thanks. Give us your luck. All right, fun fact for you. I'm doing this drag and drive with my 81 year old dad who's uh, in the shade right now. Thanks. Hi, I'm Joshua Norris. I'm here in the lanes with my Nova. Day three, sick summer. Uh, trying to get some track and traction on a track that's kind of questionable. Uh, I run in the all motor NA class and my subcategory is NA modified, small block. And best time this week has been a 980 yesterday. Hi everyone, Bob Gruber back here at day three. Uh, we just got here today about maybe an hour ago, turned the car around. We had problems last night. Uh, the locating pin out of the cam came out of the top cam gear and all kinds of havoc caused uh, by that situation. We had to source some heads, some valve train, uh, some lifters, and we were able to knock it all out last night. Got the car fired up about eight this morning. And like I said, just got here about an hour ago to make our first pass of the day. Hoping for uh, uh, 880 would be great. Anything better than that would be amazing. And. Uh, uh, Bob Racing 1017 at Insta on Instagram. Uh, we put out a lot of videos covering uh, all the things that happened last night, so uh, come check it out. All right, guys, we got this Nova pulling up. This Nova's running in the naturally aspirated class. Just chatting with the gentleman in the lanes there. Um, Right lane, we got Bob Gruber, who's running stick shift class in a Mustang. He actually had the motor part in the car last night, it sounds like, had all kinds of problems. I actually just showed up to the track only an hour ago. So Bob's getting in his first run, and his Nova's had a couple today. Mile an hour. Hey guys, Jared Fuller here and this is day three of six summer. Uh, we've made three passes so far. Our first pass we went down a 986, but we're running pro dial your own. So we're going for a 977. So we took off the tailgate, we're trying to lose some weight, but with the lost weight, it's not hooking. So we got the extension uh, loosened up so the rear will extend more. And we're gonna try and make another pass and see if we can't get right on our dial. This is our C10, Bad Bad Leroy Brown. It's a 1984 C10, a Texas truck. Uh, it's all original paint except the hood. It has a 632 skip wipe performance motor. Um, we're gonna be spraying it Friday, hopefully uh, grudge racing the motion race works truck. Hey, my name is Eric Wiegand from White Plains, Maryland. We're here at uh, Six Summer 2024. This is day three. Uh, we're at Tri-State Raceway. Uh, got a 66 Pontiac Le Mans with a 6 liter LS turbo motor in it. Uh, we're running the Pro DYO or Dial Your Own class. Uh, we're shooting for a 922 today. We've run a 920 and a 935. I'm up here for my third time trying to hit that 922. 
All right, guys, Pontiac Le Mans is back in the lane here, making another pass. That's going 855, 150 miles. He's got to be happy with that. An 850 for Evan, 167 mile an hour. All right, guys, all run is up. So it's that time of the day. All, all lanes are open for all drivers, all classes. We've got a D car up right now, Camaro SS. Let's see how he does. Thirty-four mile an hour, right lane ten seventy one twenty-six. Fifty-six, hundred seventeen mile an hour. This is about two thirty here at uh, Tri-State Raceway today, and uh, I'm about to hit the road. As this today is our longest drive, I believe it's about a three, three and a half hour drive or something like that. We're going to Great Lakes Dragway in Wisconsin, so I got to hit the road. As I said, it's two thirty. A lot of the cars have ran. It all runs on right now, but either way, we got to get going. So let's go. just now what was it what's up guys we are at the field of dreams the movie set as you can see behind me we had the field over there you have the mlb field where they actually played an mlb game had the teams come out of the cornfield into the field pretty cool and then we have the house right behind us over here a whole movie set on our route stop here for day three route stop number one at six summer pretty cool little stop hope you guys are enjoying that track channel all right, guys, as Jesse just mentioned, we are at the Field of Dreams uh, site. It's a movie site of uh, Kevin Costner back in the day. Um, 
But yeah, this is a check stop number one of day three. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna make it to check stop number two because I have a hotel that uh, I'm gonna cross before getting to check stop number two. So that's it, that's all for me for day three. Look to catch up with you guys tomorrow for day four. Thank <laughs> you.